Hello, I'm John Glazer, founder and whiskey maker at Compass Box, and we love matching whiskey with cheese. So I want to continue here to try to inspire you to match whiskeys with cheese. We're going to use No Name 2 here. We've got two cheeses that we think work really well in different ways with our limited edition from 2019 No Name 2. Second in the No Name series of whiskeys with very heavy peat profiles. Um, for those of you that know No Name, the first one, um, No Name 1, um, if I could use a musical analogy, if that was sort of thrash metal, this one is more sort of progressive rock, more cerebral, a little bit more restrained than the first No Name, but still quite heavily peated, featuring whiskeys from um, the Kalila Distillery and the Talisker Distillery, a touch of malt whiskey from the Klein Leash Distillery. Um, no Name, the um, the story here is when we've made No Name One, this hugely peaty whiskey, the peatiest whiskey we'd ever made, we just couldn't come up with a name for it. And uh, I had this idea, we'll just, you know, we'll just do a black label, which signifies heavy peat and smoke, and we'll, we just won't have a name, it'll just be Compass Box Black Label, but that probably wouldn't work for lots of obvious reasons. So we decided to call it No Name. And thus, the next one in the, in the line is No Name 2, and I can tell you now, we've all, we're already working on No Name 3. Um, whiskey and cheese pairing. A couple of things that, pointers from, from us. Um, glassware, we love using wine glasses. Yeah, we love using wine glasses as opposed to nosing glasses. Nosing glasses are good for nosing. Wine glasses are really good for drinking. And this is about very much, good for both nosing but and drinking. So good for, for this kind of, uh, for, 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 for drinking with cheese. Um, temperature, the whiskeys will show best and complement the cheese best when they're cool. So that means just under what you'd consider, what's normal room temperature, about you know 68 Fahrenheit or 20 uh, Celsius. Below that is, is good and water. Adding water to whiskey um, when, you're when you're matching it with cheese, I think is really important. It's a personal thing. You can do it any way you like. But for me, what it does is it brings down the alcohol, okay? So it softens the feeling of whiskey on the palate. Um, it opens up the whiskeys, and it just allows you to get a more of an appreciation, I think, of the flavor, the amalgamation of flavor that cr is created between the, the cheese and the whiskey. So that's what we like to do. Um, I'm going to get going here. So the cheeses that we've, we've, we've uh, matched here with No Name 2, we love farmhouse cheeses. We're big fans of, you know, cheesemongers, cheese shops that specialize in small production, hand, literally handmade cheeses, what we call in the UK farmhouse cheeses. So our cheeses today supplied by Neil's Yard Dairy here in London. Two cheeses that we're going to match with No Name 2. The first one is Hafford. Hafford is a Welsh cheese. It's kind of cheddar style. It's got this lovely sort of uh, uh, kind of wild character to it, um, a feral kind of character to it, um, tangy. And then we're going to match it also with a classic. Colston Bassett Stilton. Um, when we are matching whiskeys and cheese the way I like to do it, I'm going to add my water here. I like to first sip the whiskey. And you might have noticed, for some people, I might add a lot of water. You can add it to taste, as I said. Uh, so I'm going to let the whiskey and the water kind of integrate here. But I taste the whiskey first, then the cheese or the food, whatever you're pairing it with, and then go back to the whiskey. And you'll start to see all sorts of cool things happen in your mouth. I mean, there, there's, there's complementary. Um, characteristics that are developed between the whiskey and the cheese, and there are contrasting characteristics developed, and there's an amplification sometimes. The whiskey or the cheese can amplify uh, flavors in the other one. So here we go with No Name 2. Huge hit of peat. But there's also a f fruit characters, like berry fruit characters in there, because the malt whiskey from the Kalila distillery we chose for this was aged in a, in a refill sherry plant, so, which could sometimes give those fruit characters. Okay, lovely. Um, do the half at first. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just immediately, mm. the creaminess in the cheese, it brings out almost a creaminess, even in a whiskey like this. Mm. Lovely complementary characteristics going on here, but also mm, the creaminess um, from the cheese it's amplifying and really um, making more obvious and bigger the, the peatiness. It's, it's having this great kind of interplay. Mm. This is also really cool cheese. 
to match with a smoky whiskey. That the blue cheeses, we like blue vein cheeses with smoky whiskeys because although it doesn't always, this cheese does happen to have a little blue vein streak in it. So maybe, later on, I'm going to dig into that and see how it works with this whiskey. Mm. Really, really, so there's a savoriness that's, that's really d delicious um, and working really well with the whiskey. Onto the Colston Bassett Stilton. Classic British cheese, right? And as I said, you know, we, we love peaty whiskeys with, with blue vein cheeses, and I do find the more savory and succulent and creamy the blue vein cheese, the better it stands up to really peaty whiskeys. So here we go. Pardon my fingers. Mm. <laughs> that is such a classic cheese and it's showing so perfectly right now. That's it. I don't need to say anything. <laughs> that is such a classic food and drink pairing. You know, peat amplifying, the, this is a, that savory and blue character combines perfectly. It contrasts, but in a, in a, in a with the with the peat, but it's a natural affinity. Gorgeous stuff. I hope this inspires you to work with some um, cheeses with your whiskeys. Match your cheeses with whiskeys. Find a great cheese shop if you don't have one, particularly one that might that, that specializes in small production farmhouse cheeses. They offer so much more complexity and character than the, the ones we can find in the supermarkets. Lots of pleasure ahead for you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.